Hey there guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make these cool things here. We're gonna use Hue Forge, which is a software that turns images into 3D prints. And in specifically, we're gonna be doing this in Bamboo Studio on Bamboo Lab printers with AMSs. I mean, just look how cool this is. It's absolutely crazy. We're gonna turn images into 3D printed artwork. And by the way, my name's Chris, and this is my 3D printing studio. It's my little sanctuary. All right, guys, so step number one in doing all of this is to download Hue Forge. This is essentially the software that we're going to be using to create this artwork to turn images into 3D artwork or 3D printables. So you can visit the link in the description if you want to go to Hue Forge. And just so you know, you actually have to buy this software and there's different uses. If it's just for personal use, it's like 24 bucks or 30. And if you have commercial use, it gets pretty expensive. On a professional level, it could cost you 120 bucks, but I feel like at the end of the day, if you're running a business, that's not much. So go ahead and purchase the software and figure all that out. Then after you've purchased it, they will then send you an email. The email will state your digital products are ready, so go ahead and download HueForge. Choose which version you need for your computer. I'm on a Windows. If you're on a Mac, you'd use this one. Download file. Then next, what we need to do is go in the Downloads folder, and we need to extract this folder. So right-click, Extract All. Then you need to open the extracted file and find the application. It should look exactly like this right here. So then double-click on that, and that's going to walk you through the installer on your computer. All right, so this is what Hue Forge looks like. And actually, before we get started in this tutorial on how to do it in Hue Forge, we're actually going to go on over to Canva. So then what you want to do here in Canva is open a blank slate or a new project. Then what you're going to want to do here is upload your image. So click here to upload your image. This one is of my daughter and then bring it into the image here. So then what we're going to want to do here is increase the size to kind of match the sizing that we want and also to remove the background. It has this awesome background removal tool. Just click that. Now, a little advice about your images, guys. You have to remember with the AMS, we only have four colors to print with. There's actually a trick that you can reload your AMS to load more colors after it changes colors, but that's kind of advanced, and we're going to keep it really simple today. So what I tend to do is just keep things black and white, especially if you're a beginner. People still love black and white images. What I would do here is get into the edit section of the photo. Or actually, what I'm going to do here is click on filters. See this button here? There's probably a black and white filter if we scroll down down here all right here's one called ink and then the intensity you can change it classic ink all right let's just do classic that's kind of a cool feature here i'm going to be printing this on a white background or you can just have it the shape of the picture itself what i'm probably going to do though is put a black background around this image just because you know what she's wearing is actually white in color and i'll show you what i'm talking about here so if I copy the image here and then I edit this, what I'm going to do is make this completely black. This image black, and you'll kind of see it after I'm done here. Brightness. There. There it's black. Yeah, you just got to play with the settings. And then what I'm going to do is paste the old image back over it. It essentially has a border around it. I only did this because the image is white, but you'll see how cool this looks later. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now save this. So go over here to share and then download and then download. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this file into Hue Forge. All right, we are now into Hue Forge, so go ahead and open that. Then go up to File in the left-hand corner, and we want to open File, Image, and then click on the one that I saved. And as you can see here, the one on the right here is the image we uploaded, the original version. And then the version on the left is what's going to be 3D printed. And Hue Forge is extremely complicated, if I'm being completely honest, especially if you're new to it. So my advice to you is to not mess with any of the settings and we're going to actually keep this as simple as possible and just kind of 3D print a black and white version of something just to kind of get your hands dirty with this, right? Start small and level up. So there's a setting down here that is called the luminance feature and this is essentially how Hue Forge reads the colors on your picture versus what it outputs. So if we click here, this is the setting right here. If we click combo, if we click on standard, there's also color match where it tries to match the colors of your picture. That's mainly what I use. And what's really cool here is if you left click on this picture, we can kind of get a feel, if we zoom in, of the different layers. See this, how there's different layers of the filament and that's how it's gonna 3D print, which is actually really cool. So at any time, what you can do is you can kind of just look at it and hope that, I mean, that's what you're gonna get as the output that you're 3D printing. So the next section, is the filaments. These are the filaments right here. As you can see, there's selections up here. There's PLA, PLA+, plus, et cetera, et cetera. There's like gazillion types of filaments, guys. And you can actually find them per brand and color code. 
if that makes sense. But I'm not, I don't worry about the brands because if it's PLA, it's pretty simple. This is dark gray. This is light gray. Even though it's bamboo, maybe you're using a different brand. I just run with it. So then down here, these are known as the color sliders. And as you can tell here, if I scroll down on this color, it changes. And what most people do here is they start with the darkest color first and work their way up to the lightest color. And because we are doing black and white as our first trial, we usually tend to stick with four colors with black and white, right? Usually it's black, you start with black, dark gray, light gray, and then white. What I'm gonna actually do here is put a lighter gray right here. All you do is bring the color from up here, left click, drop and drag it down. So I'm gonna find white here as my last color because that's the lightest. Drag white down here. This looks pretty dang cool, right? This could be, you know, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna print it with a background, but you don't actually have to. You can just do it like on the outside here. I might have this as like a cute coaster. But then all you do here is essentially left click on these sliders and you can kind of just drop and drag and get a feel for what it's gonna look like. And essentially, the more that you drag it up, the, the more distance that you can see the filament on it. See, if we zoom in here, right here, as I drag this up, this slider, you can tell it, it builds more. So you kind of just got to like, what I tend to do is get a straight on view of it. And then you just start messing with the sliders. And this transmission distance is essentially like the translucence amount of the filament, if that makes sense. Like the number's higher for white because it has less of a translucence distance. It's pretty technical. I might not even be explaining it correctly, but this is the gist of how it works. And you just kind of sit here and play with these colors. And again, I have black, dark gray, light gray, and white. My advice to you is to just start simple. And all you have to do, like say if you had a color, say if like she had an orange sweatshirt on or something, all you would do is drop orange down instead of gray. And then as you can see here, you know, or maybe orange is last and gray is third. Again, you'll have to mess with these settings because it can get pretty complicated. I'm going to go back to white here. And I actually have an advanced video on advanced color matching because the whole process of doing Hue Forge is pretty simple and getting like simple stuff outputted. But if you're looking to make like colors pop and do like crazy colors, color matching is 90% of what makes Hue Forge so difficult. And I'm actually working with a specialist that's doing an in-depth tutorial and she spent like years learning this stuff. So then this is what it's going to look like. We took the original file here on the right and on the left here, this is what's going to 3D print, right? Which is pretty cool. Can you tell why I put the black background around it now just to kind of like break those two up? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we are going to go load our AMS system downstairs on the A1 Mini and take note of what colors you're using, right? Because this is black and white, I have black, dark gray, light gray, and white. So we need to go load those into the AMS. Then we're gonna bring this into Bamboo Studio as the slicer, and then we're gonna go from there. And we're gonna 3D print this. And just a little tip, I 3D print white and black pictures of like cool things like people's dogs, wedding photos, and I give them as gifts, and people absolutely love them for holidays, birthdays, Christmas, whatever. Like these look really cool, and I put them in frames, and they look really good. All right, but let's go fill the AMS quick. All right, so now we're gonna load the AMS, right? I have dark gray, so we're gonna need black, white, dark gray, and light gray. So let's just start loading. All right, so that is all loaded. We got black, light gray, white, and dark gray. And take note of this. What I usually do is take a, a picture on my cell phone because when we get up in the Bamboo Studio, it's easier to set it if you have a picture. All right, guys, so now that we have our AMS set up with the colors, now we're gonna bring this file into Bamboo Studio. So go up over to file up here in the left hand corner and then click save project as. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to name it something. I'm going to call it daughter because this is my daughter. Then save it. And then next we're going to go over to Bamboo Studio and we are going to import a new file. So click on this plus button right here and then find the file. And that is now going to load. The file is way too big for the build plate. So I'm going to downsize it a little bit here. Let's do it at 70%, maybe even 60%. And then next, what we're gonna do is choose the printer. I'm gonna print this on the A1 Mini. Okay, so then next what we wanna do here is we wanna choose our filaments. So what I like to do is click on the device tab, make sure you have your 3D printer selected, and I'm going to bring up the image of the AMS that we took, and now we are going to choose the correct colors of which the filament is on there. This one is light gray, so we're gonna do light gray, confirm. That one is white, and this one is dark gray, confirm. Then we'll go back to the prepare tab and then we'll add four filaments because we know 
we're going to be using those four filaments. All right, so this next step, you got to pay close attention because when we save the Hue Forge file, it actually saved three different files in our downloads section. So open up your downloads folder, click on downloads, and you can see here it saved three files. It has the STL file and then a describe file, which is a text document. This is what we need. So double click on that and open it. And essentially, these are the instructions that we're going to be using on how to 3D print this in Bamboo Studio or any slicer that for that matter. So pay very close attention because I screwed this up a lot. This is huge. Just listen up. All right. So it says the project name is daughter print at 100 percent infill with a layer height of 0.08 with a base layer of 0.16. All right. So let's go change the infill to 100 percent. So click on the strength tab down here. Go down to sparse infill we're going to change this to 100 percent and it says grid infill pattern doesn't support click yes and it'll change the grid pattern for you then go back to the notepad here a layer height of 0.08 so let's go a point uh a layer height 0 0.08 08 click enter it says layer heights limits yeah click ignore because we're going to change this other setting layer heights that and then the base layer is 0.16 so this initial layer height is 0.16. Click enter. And then the instructions, we'll keep going here. It says the model's 200 by 200. You may print at higher layer heights. The max depth is 2.2. And then now it gives us the colors in order. And this is where we're gonna choose our colors, right? So first is black, then gray, and then light gray. So let's choose this. Black, dark gray, light gray, and then white. So this is the exact order in which they're in. So, and just try to pay attention to this. This is crucial. And then it says, those are the types of filaments used. And again, if you want to get super technical, these are the exact Bamboo Lab names like we talked about, but I don't, I don't pay too much attention to that, just especially as a beginner. All right, so next is the swap instructions. This is huge, guys, because we're going to have to manually change the colors in the next screen here in the preview tab. All right, so it says swap instructions, start with color black, and then at layer six, change to blue gray, which is dark gray. So let's click on the preview tab here and it'll slice our file. Might take a second if you got a crappy computer. All right, so what did it say? It said at layer six, change to dark gray. Okay, so all we do here is make sure we have this chosen up here to filament. So at layer six, we're changing it to dark gray. So bring it down to layer six, see it right here? Right click on the plus, change filament to dark gray. Then we'll go to the next one. At layer nine, swap to light gray, or they call it silver. Nine, I call it light gray. And then layer 13, switch to white. All right, so layer 13. And again, you right click and then you change the filament and then change the color to white. As you can see here, there's four different colors. Click slice plate because it has to re-slice it and create it. Okay, so it says it's going to take an hour and 28 minutes. And I'm going to X out of this so we can take a cool look at this. So this is what it looks like, guys. And again, don't freak out. This is a rough estimate of what it's going to look like, you know? But if we kind of zoom in here and scroll down on the layer, the layering here, you can kind of see what it's doing, which is pretty cool. And again, this is a super basic, like not super detailed print. We're essentially taking like a, like a 2D image and then 3D printing it in 2D, but it's still really cool. All right. So next, what we want to do here is we want to click on print plate up here. Make sure everything is appropriate. We have all the AMS, uh, all the colors lined up. Click print. Make sure you select the right printer, all that jazz. Go clean your plate with some alcohol or soapy water, then click send. All right, guys, so the print is starting. Getting pretty excited here. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes, and the print is starting to look more like something. How much more time does it have left? It still has 10 minutes. I'm guessing this white filament is going to be the last layer, just like we created it with. All right, guys, so here is the finished print. Turned out pretty cool. I like it. Could maybe mess around with some more settings. You can also make it thicker. I also have a video on that. But for the most part, I've been having a ton of fun just 3D printing stuff like this. This is my dog here, Tank. Also 3D printed this here. So this is a basic tutorial on how to use Hue Forge with your Bamboo Lab printers on Bamboo Studio and using the AMS system by Bamboo. If you're looking for a more in-depth guide for Hue Forge on color matching, consider checking out this video right here. This is where you're going to learn the in-depth, top-level color matching in Hue Forge.